What's up everybody? I'm Raf and today we're gonna do something pretty cool with our Sudan plated lizard Zilly right here. Now she's very shy, all right? So she's not gonna come out and say hi yet, but she knows that food's on the way. As you can see here, my fingers look like nice little wormies for her. Oh, oh, oh. For a little while now, I've been trying to see if this lizard can ball train or target train, okay? This is something that people do with like monitor lizards and stuff like that, that you really don't want them mistaking your hands for food. In her case, we're using it as a way to maybe make her more personable and make her more able to come out and come towards us because she loves her food. But before we do, if you like reptile content on YouTube, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And that's it, let's go. Okay, so she's still very early on in this learning process. Uh, you know, she seems intelligent enough. I think all reptiles are quite intelligent, just not in ways we understand. So at this point, I'm just presenting the ball to her and then following it up immediately. Oh, no, no, it's on the ground. Okay, take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> so like I said, I'm just going to be presenting the ball to her. Oh, I'm going to present the ball and then follow it right up with food. Oh, you ripped it in half. And the other one's right there. Okay. She's doing great. Yeah, eat that. <laughs> As you can see, she has the food part down quite well. Now we just gotta get her to realize that that ball means more is on its way. And she definitely seems like she's starting to get the hang of it because the first time I showed her to the ball, she was terrified of it. Don't eat your own, is that poop? Don't eat your own poop, silly. <laughs> you can see she's still not super comfortable with us, but that's what today's little training session is for. And you know, some people have very tame Sudan plated lizards that kind of don't care about people. Zilly is not one of those lizards, okay? So we gotta, we gotta take extra steps to make her more friendly, more personable. But I think she's on the right track. starting to kind of eye the ball up and, and come towards it a little bit, which is a good sign because like I said, she used to just run away until the food was there, but I think now she's starting to get the idea. Starting to get somewhere. Come on, come on. You want it? Come get it. That was the first time she actually took a few steps towards the ball. So, I think we're gonna get somewhere. I think any lizard, maybe except some species of gecko, can do this, but it's just a matter of how long and how many tries it takes. But that's okay, Zilly. We're we're willing to work with you here. Come on. No more. No more. Come get it. At this point, she knows the ball means food's nearby, but she's not quite associating the ball with food. But that's okay, baby steps, right? 
Speaking of baby steps. So that's enough crickets for now. Now we're gonna move on to the nice, juicy super worms, okay? Her favorite thing probably on this planet. As you can see, still very shy, but very food motivated as well. like a little doggy with a bone, baby. So very good progress with my girl Zilly today. But before we wrap this up, I got some more bonus feedings for you guys. How about we feed Melon the Panther Chameleon and my mantises, all right? We'll see if they want some food too. We have a little tiny cricket for our ghost mantis, whose name is Jeff, because we thought it was a female for a very long time. And then he molted and grew these wings and that beautiful crest and those antennae now we know it's a boy, so we're gonna give him this cricket. He's due for a feeding. Sometimes he gets really freaked out when it's time to eat, but uh, we'll see how it goes today. Yep, he's playing this. <laughs> Maybe no food for a puppy. Maybe he wants it. So as you can see, ghost mantises, they look very much like dead leaves and sticks and they act like it too. So that predators 
or, well, so they think predators or, you know, their humans can't see them, which is just a really cool adaptation. Dave? Well, we'll leave that in there with him and we'll see if he wants it later. Now, of course, the man, the myth, the legend, Pickle Rick, gets a cricket. Looks like Rick can see Jeff's cricket right now, so he's, uh, he's definitely going to be interested, but he's going to get a little freaked when this top opens, but I think he'll like the end result. have that is always hungry melon the panther chameleon so i'm gonna try to tong feed him a couple of these super worms and then he'll get the leftover crickets as you can see he's just getting done with a shed let me see that buddy oh it's just your nails now okay we'll leave it on we'll leave it on for you you, you do what you gotta do oh, oh it's food? Okay, I think it's fine. some fun watching these crickets dance around in his little shooting gallery, his little feeding cup. fun doing some of our morning feedings today. Zilly is doing great, making great progress with that ball training, and maybe one day we'll be able to kind of get her more personable, and we'll keep you guys along every step of the way. Also worth mentioning, Rick is humongous now, and it's a lot harder to keep up with his food intake, right? So he needs a lot more feedings than he used to. Let us know. Do you like seeing Mantis feedings? We have a a surprise invertebrate too that we have around now so if you guys want to see more invertebrates eating just let us know in the comments and lastly melon is finally getting done with his first shed as a full-grown adult so that's just really cool to see so that's gonna do it i hope you really enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you like it and subscribe to our channel it helps us out a lot and we hope you enjoy food today as much as rick enjoys this cricket so with all that being said, guys, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.